here. Greetings and salutations, guys, gals, people, and pals. It's the gentleman, Sir Turtle. And today, I wanted to talk about an interesting topic. Um, who Street Fighter duels is really aimed at, or who they are trying to cater to more in terms of their overall fan base. Now, I just want to make it clear to everyone that everyone views games differently. Like, I think that's just a common place. We all have our very differentiated opinion and uh same goes for video game companies you know they try to cater to a wide demographic but you have to come in to understand that it's important to understand that companies still choose their demographics they still try to cater to a specific crowd and Street Fighter Duels is no different um, realistically, their target demographic is the casual player. Now, you might be thinking, what's wrong with that? I'm a casual player. I love Street Fighter Duels, and that's great. But the, I wouldn't say harsh reality, but the reality for a lot of serious players is that that can be a frustrating and disappointing experience. Now, for a casual player, it seems that they log in, they enjoy the game, they may get stuck in certain walls or certain places. They're willing to put the game away and come back the next day and try again. As where um, a more serious or competitive player would put money to pass certain walls or their time and invest in a lot of, how do I put it? Uh, brain power and skill in determinations to attempt to pass certain walls without having to put money into it. For more serious players who take the game to a really competitive nature, they can also feel that content is a little bit lacking in terms of like guild versus guild, uh, PvP, uh, one vocal issue that a lot of uh, competitive players have is that the server locks from the game are restricting guilds from growing but in reality being for the fact that it's in more casual it, you can understand that the server locks to prevent older uh guilds or more uh dedicated guilds from destroying newer players which it can very well happen another issue with street fighter duels that some people like to harp on is the lack of balancing characters and in the gameplay the power outlook out the power outlook in certain matches and certain stages are some feel a little bit outlandish and a little bit crazy obviously some characters are simply just more powerful looking at you bison be saying and the gameplay can feel a little bit unbalanced and unfair sometimes because if those are the only focus or meta units then it kind of shoehorns a lot of players but a lot of players counterpoint is that it takes skills and you know dedications to learn how to counter these things so you know it 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 makes it difficult for players to complete compete on a level playing field and can lead to a little bit of a frustration and disappointment in certain aspects then the other issue would be monetization the model the model that street fighter duel uh has it's it's a turn off for a lot of players it's not as extremely welcoming in terms of like the value and bang for the buck it seems like the more you spend the less you get and hopefully over time that can be corrected uh and you know we can use the monster hunter ken event compared to the dante event in terms of resources accessibility and what is allowed in content they definitely learned that the Dante event has a lot of content behind it. So, you know, they're, they're taking into consideration feedback that they're definitely learning. Now, uh, the other thing with the monetization is because, uh, Monster Hunter Ken initially was always paywall because that's how it was in this event. As Dante, on the other hand, is not necessarily paywall. Uh, because you can get them with the tickets that you purchase with diamonds and stuff like that, but that is limited So some people would say that it's still expensive in paywalls while others say 
if not you know you can still get a copy or two if you're lucky so you know i think the event is is a win in terms of resources and content that's definitely a plus now the solution uh, to answer all this is there's no real easy answer Street Fighter Duel is catered to casual players and it's unlikely that the game will change significantly to cater more serious players um as in terms of like how they already changed the servers and stuff like that it just doesn't seem like that's where they're going to be aiming at however there's still ways to enjoy the game and you can definitely find satisfaction in the gameplay uh, one way to do this is just to focus on the game and enjoy how you want to enjoy it. Challenge yourself within the aspects of the game. For example, you can focus on mastering a particular playstyle. Like I main fire. Uh, I'm I like that Dalsum. Dalsum is amazing. You know, other people focus on wind. There's other strategies and other ways you can play the game. Uh, you can also approach it Street Fighter duels as a casual game rather than a serious competitive one just understand that real sometimes you're just not competing against anyone unless you actively want to compete in pvp and leaderboards and stuff like that just enjoy the game and focus on the fun accessibility of the game rather than the super death complexity you know or you could do all of it there's there's so many ways to play just play your game do you google do what makes you happy still find enjoyment in the game and in the community you know definitely join the discord community it's a wonderful place to share your opinions and teams and, and ask questions and stuff like that so in overall street fighter duel may not be the game that serious players were hoping for but it's still a fun accessible game that can provide hours of entertainment for players so understanding the limitations of the game and finding ways to enjoy it on your own terms you can still find the satisfaction in the gameplay and the community and just the wonderful world of video games in general fill some time and be happy uh like comment subscribe let me know how you feel about everything let me know if you agree or disagree you know it it everyone has a different cup of tea stay happy stay hydrated stay alive it's a love